I thought he was going to say that it transforms into a plane. For half a million, that's a bargain. But I don't think it is. No. No. The few RVs that strikes the per Look how ugly it is. Oh, don't spend your money on it. The rear stairwell. All you would have to do is climb up the side of it like a chimpanzee and you'll be on the roof. That's not very classy. What is going on guys? So today what we're going to be checking out on the channel is something pretty interesting. It's the world's most expensive RVs. That's like motorhomes, okay? These are like caravans that are pimped out to the max. I honestly can't wait to see them. I have no idea. I've found a video, I've seen the title and I thought, I've got to watch it. I've got to watch it. But why watch it alone when I can watch it with you guys? Let's get into the video and see the world's most expensive motorhomes. Let's do it! Also, if you would like to subscribe, follow the Instagram and Twitter. That'd be very nice as well. Thank you! As a connoisseur of luxury, I am ready to see some the caravans. Abodes of the wealthy <laughs> that live in the Orient to the ultra modern mansion. What is this guy's voice? I've seen it all. Indeed, <laughs> I've seen it all. The suit for fine living has taken me to exotic places on this earth. And while I occasionally These look pretty, man. The finest caviar, caviar. The rich and this guy's not rich. This guy's wanna be rich. This guy's sat in his mum's basement. Road, literally. That is, Literally. I had the opportunity <laughs> to socialize with one reclusive billionaire oh. whose love for nature was exemplary as it was frightening. Okay. Yes, when the rich and mighty decide to trade their choppers and private jets for a little road trip under the sun, yes. they do it in style. How did they do it? Homes are Look at that thing. That's not even pretty. Is that one of them? Please don't tell me that's a motorhome. That looks awful. What is that? Looks like a brick of Lego. Just a grey brick of Lego on the back of a truck. That is ridiculous. Still, I personally had the pleasure of riding. Look at the state of it! What is that? What is that? You can't drive that down the street. How high up are those seats? The little circle wind. Oh no. No, no, no. It's not real. But before detailing my remarkable experience while on this, this guy. yacht on wheels, here are some motorhomes worth mentioning. The Country Coach right. Magna 630. This is cheaper than I thought. This is number five, the Country Coach Magna 630. Well, 630, but yeah. So this is half a million. Oh, wow. It's still so much money, but... Half a million. A million dollars. When you're accustomed to luxury, ten thousand feet in the air. Oh, I thought it was hard to the plane. On road without... I thought he was going to say that it transforms into a plane. For half a million, that's a bargain. But I don't think it is. Compromising your wealthy lifestyle. So, how do you trade in the sky while still maintaining Imagine. your status quo? If you have a healthy bank account well in excess of four hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars, okay, you just take full advantage of the current it's... coach magna six. Half a million. Half a million. Why? 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 30. With an interior customized. Look at the inside! Oh no. No. That interior literally looks awful. It looks disgusting. They've put a fisheye lens on it as well, which basically stretches the camera. You can see how at the sides it's slightly just like too far it's like if you walked into that that room would be tiny like well i say a room it's just all on the back of a van but that is a tiny tiny space that they've made it look bigger using a bigger lens chartered plane but the country coach is equipped with a 600 horsepower engine why to you where you want to go uh, what, like he's showing off the horsepower like you're not driving around in half of a bloody i don't know it's like noah's ark Half of that, literally, you could fit half of the planet's animals on that thing. Why does horsepower matter? You're going to be going slow anyway. You don't want to go quick. Oh, your chairs and your cups flying about. Ah! No, you don't want that. Like every ultra modern smart home, this RV comes with a fully customizable touchpad. That's cool. Control of all house electronics, which That's means cool. you won't have to lift a single finger to regulate the air conditioning. Nice. Not only. See. 
that looks nice, right? The little bits of the side coming out, you can imagine it camping, but why are you going camping if you have that thing? Travel the world, see other places. Well, don't drive around in that thing, just no. No. All right, so we got number four, Monaco Dynasty 45p, and this is touching 600,000. It best, it honestly, I really hope it's prettier than the last one. Please. It's all about luxury. Yes. Monaco is an island. They're so ugly. And so is the Monaco Look at it. RV, a home on wheels built for the wealthy. So it's so ugly. It's the ugliest thing. One, honestly, RVs are some of the ugliest things I've seen about. There's not a pretty one out there. If you know a pretty RV, send it to me because I need to see it. We'll be greeted by a porcelain tiled floor. Right, let's give a quick pause on there. Let's have a look about the room. The colour, the mustard couch and the mustard chair. Ugh. The sink is incredible. Look at the state of the sink. The sink is like a mansion-esque sink. They've done what they can with the space. I prefer tiled to carpet, but it looks so crammed. It's too crammed. Too crammed. Honestly, I've lived in apartments smaller than that, but it still looks so crammed. Wardrobes and a king-sized bed donned with silk linen. Indeed, comfort on the road has never been this seamless. Never it been might this not take seamless. off like the McLaren sitting in your garage, but a 600 horsepower Cummins engine is enough to okay. propel this motorhome at Again. an impressive speed. Doesn't all impress me. Losing a touch of its exquisite interior. Look at the state of that sink. What is going on there? It's like you want grand, but you can't afford grand. Do you know what I mean? It looks plastic, it looks fake, it's weird, I don't know. Fine. As for the price tag, well, you wouldn't mind parting with $600,000, would you? Coming that, up no. next, we have the- Number three, we have the Newmark King Air, and it's coming in at just under, oh, wow. Wow, three quarters of a million, guys. Is it gonna be pretty? I can bet you it's not. $150,000. When kings and queens go for a ride, okay. they want the world. The inside looks nice. I'm preferring this interior. It's a bit bright. It is a bit bright. But I'm preferring this interior. Once again, it's still so crammed. Look on the right hand side. How small is that couch? Mirrors. Mirrors have worked good in this though because they kind of give you that double perspective and make it seem bigger. So I feel like mirrors are a good choice, but let's have a look at it. And complimented on how resplendent their taste is. In the air, it's private jets. Back to the on plane. Land, it's expensive cars. That's the, the car. Road, the few RVs that strikes the per Look how ugly it is. Oh, don't spend your money on it. You specifically, don't be spending your three quarters of a million on that thing. Ew balance between luxury and efficiency boasting a 600 horsepower cummins isx turbo engine oh, of course manufacturers took it a notch higher by fitting this high-flying motorhome on a custom-made spartan k3 chassis you'll be blown away no no way equipped interior that is a carbon copy of a palatial home everything oh. from a fully furnished living room a kitchen equipped with state-of-the-art appliances looks a bit like a dentist now I'm seeing all the light, all the white. I don't know, is it a dentist here? I don't like dentists. Mm, mm. Doesn't feel homely. I don't know how you get a homely RV, but it doesn't feel homely. Appliances and a luxurious bath and bed makes this ensemble all the more elegant. Nevertheless, to enjoy such amenities, one would have to contact their financial advisor and splash a salary. <laughs> $750,000. Yes, they would. So now we've got number two, the country court Prevost. Is that Prevost? I don't know. Prevost? Prevost? Uh, and this is one million. This is hitting the the big figures now. One Here we go. Travelling in itself is an art. And for those okay. to sample it with the best doesn't, paintbrush on canvas. Doesn't look like it's worth a million. The country coach Provost. I mean, it just what are those big buses in America? Are they greyhound buses? It literally just looks like a giant greyhound bus. Would you pay one mil for a greyhound bus? I don't think so. Is a worthy addition. Ample space and luxurious furnishings will have guests reluctant to no. leave your aerodynamic home on wheels. The bedroom and looks alright. Mirror. The property value Good idea with the mirror. Haven is a Up on the ceiling. I like that. These RVs are mm. great, but what RV is coming home as the number one? Number one, here we go. RV is the most expensive motorhome on the planet. Here we go. We've come to Three million! Element. 
Three million. Number one. The element plazato. Is it plazato? Plazato? I don't know. I don't speak Italian. I think it's Italian. Three million. That jump, guys. This RV is worth three times the last one. Oh, my God. It's going to be the ugly one. Oh, the circle window. Oh, that's three million. Palazzo. Coming in at a whopping three million dollars. At last, we have come to oh, it is. <laughs> atop the mountain sits the glamorous Elite Palazzo, honored as the most luxurious motorhome no. in 190 countries. This outstanding piece of engineering genius brings the yacht experience right to your local. The yacht home. experience. The first thing that it it's, it's brings the yacht experience because you want to drive it into the water and hopefully never see it again. <laughs> wow. They're all concept pictures. Has nobody actually got one? Impressed me about this particular motorhome is its futuristic design. Its futuristic design. It looks awful. It looks like a snowplow mixed with an iron. It looks horrendous. What's the little face at the bottom? Can you see the face? It looks like a shark at the bottom, like a cartoon shark. Just looks like three things piled up. It looks atrocious. You can't tell me that looks good. Maybe the inside will look better, but the outside, oh. People would be laughing at you as you drive down the road and you're like, <laughs> three million. <laughs> I bet you're wondering why the need for all this power. Why the need? Arm? Well, the Element Palazzo has one of the most complex body constructions in the motor industry. Why? Its outer wall is crafted from a robust marble layer over <sighs> 60 millimeters thick. With all Whoa. this weight to haul and lift, it only makes sense that this behemoth should have such a powerful no. engine fitted. Nevertheless, the interior design elements of the Palazzo... No! Look at the inside. It's like the inside of, like, a spaceship, but like... I don't know, it doesn't look good. That is not comfortable. Those are actually dentist chairs as well. By any fashion mogul standards. Oh right, okay, so, okay, right. Maybe it's not maybe it's meant for businesses. That is not a family, obviously. That's not for family that. Look at that. I don't think it's even got a bedroom then. Am I guessing right? It's not got a bedroom. Not too Must be for like a business or for rent for hire for a business conference. I thoroughly enjoyed the Sky Lounge. Of course. Was the Palazzo's piece de resistance. For one, the deck was endowed with a marvelous seating construction with a canopy ideal. Right. It's cool, but this isn't real. Like, I'm not actually seeing actual footage. This is all like digital representations. Like, why is none of it real? Where does that come from? Is that just downstairs? Just waiting downstairs for you? It makes no sense. What are you talking about? Oh, so many questions. <laughs> Assembling nature in its most unadulterated form. To get to the deck, all one had to do was access the exterior stairwell. And okay. voila, you'd find yourself enjoying the luxurious furnishing. Where was the stairwell? He just said, the rear stairwell. All you would have to do is climb up the side of it like a chimpanzee and you'll be on the roof. That's not very classy. And radiant floor heating of the Sky Lounge in a matter of seconds. The lounge was also fitted with a futuristic temperature regulation program of and course, air convention system for maximized comfort. As for the floor plans of the Element Palazzo. Okay, so this one looks different to the last. Surely all these rooms aren't inside. He might mention it next, but I'm guessing it, they sell different models then? Because the last one looks like a business suite. This one looks like, I don't know, like a brothel. <laughs> I don't know. It looks awful. I urge you to dissolve any preconceived notions you have about motorhome floors. This floor is meticulously designed to provide ample living space it's for upstairs and guests. Indeed, in the center of the RV lies a four meter couch at arm's distance from the bar, stacked with all the luxurious amenities you can right. ask for. An ice maker, a flat screen, a state of the art wine cabinet, a flat screen, you name it. As for the more private detailing of the Palazzo, I found that the bathroom of this behemoth was How is this inside? from both the master bedroom and the living room in such a way that you could access both without having to worry about any I don't get distractions. The master bedroom is fitted with a king-sized bed, but not just any ordinary king-sized bed. My the mind is blown. hunting led me to discover joining spa area provided a reclusive escape for one right. to relax under a warm what rainbow the heck? shower. 
The water itself was not what only therapeutic, the heck? but created a serene atmosphere that helped me clear my mind. Uh, clear my mind. It was all the yoga I needed, really. Though hardly noticeable amidst all the luxury, I thought it best to mention that the Palazzo's driver cab was outstanding in no. both structure and safety. As a matter of fact, it was cab. Right, let's go back to that. Right. Apart from all these rooms, they, they built a TARDIS, by the way. If this is all in there, they built a TARDIS. But I hate the look of that. The fabric? No. You need to stop. Like, the fabric is on the inside. And what is that little cat pole just out to the window? What is going on there? Is that that's got three windscreen wipers on? Three million down the drain. The Element Palazzo takes home the crown for being the most expensive motorhome in the world. Wow! Thanks to some of its innovative features that truly defy wow. the imagination. It's... I honestly don't know what I've just seen. Let's pull them out. Let's sit here in shock. Wow! Yeah. I, I don't believe that any of that's real. I honestly don't. I don't know what the guy's voice was as well. I don't know. Would you buy him? I don't think I would. I don't think I could justify it. I think I'd, if I ever bought that, you might need to give me a slap. Because I'd totally gone from reality. But I've been Drakesy. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any more videos, get them down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness onto the video. It really does help. I've been Drakesy once again and I'll see you soon. Adios.